Hi Scorpio, welcome to my moon child. My name is Kaylee. Um, this is a love reading. Um, all the normal housekeeping is down below. I just want to jump into reads from here on in. Um, this is a read for a relationship between you and another person, whoever you're thinking about. This is the energies surrounding the two of you. Um, let's just get into it. I'm getting that you kind of don't even want to know the answer to this. You kind of don't I don't want to know. I, I don't, I can't. It's almost like you don't want to face up to it. Okay. Okay, so this is about um, I've got the Queen of Cups come up. And she's pretty much the same anyway up. Um, could be dealing with a cancer but whoever it is it's someone who is in touch with their emotions they're quite intuitive this could be you i put it in the middle because i'm not really sure whether it's you or them that's quite intuitive seeking knowledge somebody is on some sort of knowledge seeking journey working on their cup their I'm getting that it's both of you. Both of you are currently sort of doing this emotional deep dive on yourself, delving into each other, and you're kind of mirroring each other without even really realising that you're mirroring each other. So you're going, well, why are they recoiling away from me? I'm getting recoiling because of the snake. Why are they recoiling away from me? Um, meanwhile you're recalling away from them because you're trying to find out your feelings and your deeper meaning and gain your knowledge and wisdom and trying to find yourself a little bit and it's kind of like you're both doing it because it's almost like you're soulmates and I don't want I don't want to say twin flames because this this it's like a pop theme at the moment that everything's it's like the key start word, you know what I mean? Like twin flames. Like, oh my God, I'm looking for my twin flame. Um, and to me, that's not, there are genuine twin flames out there and I'm not in any way minimising those genuine twin flame relationships that have found each other in this lifetime. It's just everyone is so focused on finding their twin flame. They're not experiencing their life and, the, and not everybody meets up with their twin flame in this lifetime. So um, yeah, that's why I'm reluctant to say it, but... There is definitely a mirroring between you and this other person at the moment. You could be psychically linked. Just because I'm getting this connected, connectedness and mirroring. And cups are also psychic energy as well as emotional. Oh my God. Four of Wands has come up, which is also a technically twin flame card. Um, but this is somebody that you have a stable relationship. If you're not together, then it is a very solid friendship and you kind of get each other. Um, you can rely on each other. There's stability within the two of you. You kind of just get each other without really having to say anything. Um, got the three of wands. So there is a future that you can see with this person. Um It's almost like you are you feel like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, for the next thing to happen. Um, let's get your energy. Where's your energy? I want Scorpio's energy in this. Where is Scorpio? What is Scorpio's energy in this? Because I'm getting this beautiful, psychic, twin flamey, soulmatey, mirroring each other with a future. It's just not quite... Because the four to the three of wands is a backward step. It's like there's been a hiccup and somebody's waiting for it to, the next one to drop. So can I get Scorpio's energy in this please? Scorpio's energy in this. Both of them, okay. Yeah, so you've got the hangman come through, which is this waiting for the other shoe to drop. And this nine of wands, like... It's like you're going, right, we've waited enough. I just need something to happen now. Or I'm waiting for this to get better. I'm waiting for this, this to happen. I'm so sick of waiting. 
you're sick of waiting for whatever this is that you're for it to get better for it to you feel like this has a purpose your relationship has a purpose and you're just waiting for it to actually happen the other person um is having a real anxiety thing going on real anxiety um there's something within them that they just they are battling with oh my god you want to battle it with them but they're not letting you in they're giving out the front that they're fine they've got the kingdom running they're absolutely fine um but in the background they just feel like they're going mad this this card always makes me go batshit crazy that's literally what i hear batshit crazy um there's trauma that they've not dealt with that is literally causing um anxiety issues it's keeping them up at night there's something um an old scar that has been cut open again freshly ripped open um it's something that they haven't dealt with in the past they didn't deal with it properly or process it properly so now it's coming back and it's manifesting as anxiety um irritability they're not sleeping you feel like you just get, can't get through to them but it's not that you can't get through to th you can't because their head's so occupied with what they're trying to process that you can't get in and you're going i'm sick of waiting for this to i feel like i'm constantly fighting i'm fighting it all the time i'm battling against this exterior that they're putting up they're not letting me in i can't help them um and you're like try you've tried every perspective you can you've literally gone is it this is it that is it this and you're trying you are literally trying to see it from their perspective as well um no one can help them but them at this situation you can't help them um you are martyring yourself by sitting around waiting for that to happen this miracle to happen you are waiting for a miracle to happen scorpio you are waiting for this miracle to happen where they suddenly get over this trauma <laughs> um and happen all i can suggest is um because i've got the card on the bottom that is to me you have had enough um you need to get to a place where you are fine on your own because they can't help you right now they can't help you they can't move forward with you they can't um because you're so focused on waiting for this to come in you're like and to me this is the technical happy ending that you're waiting for you are connected with them you are stable there's nothing really abusive there's nothing abusive or toxic between the two of you you're either waiting for them to wake up and realize that it's you they're supposed to be with or wake up and realize what they've got um but i think you've just got to the point where you're like do you know what no i kind of need to do my own thing i can't sit around waiting for you anymore um i've got to tend my own garden um and it's almost like you're going to uproot yourself from whatever it is you're waiting and yes it's scary to go out in the dark and do that but you're you're going to end up doing that you're going to end up doing your own thing um you've also got the magician so you have everything within you um you are more than capable everything is within you you're more than capable of coping with whatever this next step means by because you've also got the walk away card um you will walk away from this person and it's not because it's not because you didn't try to help them you did everything you could your side you tried to see it from every angle you tried um everything from shouting to being compassionate to understanding um sorry sometimes i feel it the other way <laughs> um something i gotta work on as an empath to do that um if you look at this path though at the moment yes you're in darkness but as you walk and there are going to be pits where you think, oh, no way I'm getting over this. I just kind of want to turn back and go back to where I was. But that didn't serve you anymore. You have to keep moving forward. You have to get over that little bit bump, that emotional water bump, and keep walking to the light. Um, I hate to say it, but this is the end. 
this is the end of you waiting but when it comes to the end scorpio this is your card that death is scorpio um it is the end but oh my god you're going to transform they just you can't make them deal with the, what they're dealing with they have to go and deal with their therapy or whatever um it's time for you to to just i think you've done your work i think you've done your side of it where you've done your work and you're like well i've got myself to a really good place where the fuck are you now um this is i'm getting quite a lengthy relationship kind of five five years some this this story of waiting you've been hanging around waiting for about five years at least um five or six years for something to just change and get better oh i feel the cold creeping in um but yeah though this is the end of this story um but you're going to come out more beautiful afterwards you've learned lessons you can find i think you will find freedom the other side of it once you get you just like i can breathe air now i'm not waiting all the time there's no burden of waiting there's no upside down i'm free i can literally go and sniff the roses and follow my path i can get up to anything um yeah you can work on you focus on your cup what you need to heal because this is going to take a toll on you i'm not going to lie <laughs> breaking up from, um, from a, a dream is um people aren't going to understand either why you're walking away from it they're going to go what but they were so stable you know they seem so perfectly matched you know i thought they'd go on forever i thought this was like everybody thinks that you had the happy ending if this is a marriage that you're or a relationship that you're walking away from um i thought they were happy i thought that was like together forever and then you've walked away and it will make no sense to anybody else but you need to remember it's, it's your cup it's your journey it's your happiness that's not serving you anymore and you can't help them out of whatever it is that's going on with them um if this is a man th th they are having real issues with what their definition of a man is because the way they feel about masculinity is again is in some levels opposing what they were raised to believe masculinity was so they're scared to show emotions they're scared to be vulnerable they feel like they have to be this strong male or i am the king of my kingdom you will do as i say almost mentality archaic um but they're not like that they have quite a I want to say hipstery view um but they're they're trying to deal with what their identity even as a man is um also i i get that they're not solid male they could have some fluidity to their gender um and they also have a bi slash pansexuality issues that they need to deal with they have felt attracted to their own gender and that has confused them and they need to process what that means to them um but because of obviously this toxic masculine upbringing that they've had um i think you know that this is a thing with them as well by the way because you've got this all-seeing psychic power um that you have here i think you always knew it was never gonna it was a step backwards it was never gonna be the four happy ever after twin flame um to everybody else it seemed like a twin flame partnership but you knew it's not it's a karmic um but yeah no they're dealing with their sexuality and gender identity and that whole spectrum is now open and they're trying to explore that um but obviously the inner conflict comes from their upbringing um because <laughs> they can't even have a conversation about that topic with their parents <laughs> let alone fucking admit that they are something on that spectrum um and I, I kind of feel for them and I get where the pain and anxiety is coming from and where the frustration and anger comes from because they can't even be honest about who they are. Um, 
and there's that internal battle like I know what I am but I can't be what I am because I have to be this image of the emperor you know the man the beard the tough the outdoorsy you know everything's blue white and green there's no pink there's no yellow there's no I mean it's the king of the kingdom um, and yeah, they really struggle. That's a com they're never going to get their confidence until they they kind of deal with it. So, um, that's I I really feel like one day they'll get to it, and yes, it'll open a can of worms, and yes, you can be there for them when that happens. But they need to explore that within themselves. Um, I think you'll always give them a safe space to find that because you've always been supportive. You've always had their back. You have very open mind to all sorts of concepts and, and beliefs and you recognise all this within them. I think you've even said to them about it and you've appreciated what they have. But um, yeah, now it's time for you to do you and, and look after yourself and go, nope. I can't sit around waiting for you to work this shit out anymore. I need to go down my path and find my thing. So I'm going to get a card for you, Scorpio, because that's quite a hard one to, to do. Can I have a card for Scorpio, please? A card for Scorpio. There it is. Decisions. You know there's a decision to make. You know what you need conflict heart and head you still love this person you still hope that you would have a future with this person but it is a heart over head decision um you love them but at the end of the day you have to love yourself more and i think on this occasion love has kept you where your head's already told you you shouldn't be or your head's told you that it's more practical to stay with them and your heart knows that it's over there's a conflict between between the two of you and it's the hardest decision you're ever going to have to make and it, this is, and while you're stuck in this place it's dark but once you do oh my god once you take that step oh my god there's unlimited possibilities the other side of that decision you just have to make it um i really wish that would have been happier but it kind of is because you kind of get yourself back there's abundance as well once you're happy, joy, everything comes in abundance. You will find you can support yourself financially. Things will naturally come to you because you're in a happier, freer space. Everything's all opened up for everything to come to you. Everything good will come to you. It's going to be a beautiful transformation. It's just any, the most beautiful transformation takes a lot of pain and trauma and it's not easy to get through. Um, but we'll see you'll see you will see make sure you have a good support network around you contact with your friends um you're going to need your friends to help you through because the person that you normally lean on is the person that you're walking away from um and you can't support them and they can't support you because it's it's a breakdown so you need to find your support network your emotional network as you do this journey you'll find out who your friends are as this happens scorpio um you may have elements of cancer in your chart as well, by the way, if this resonates. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I... Um, that was very specific. Um, but I will see you again soon. Much love and light to you, Scorpio. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.